Hello friends, uh, today I am going to discuss brainstorming technique under the topic interpersonal skills. Brainstorming is a very good kind of exercise that makes a person very suitable to evolve languages, words and ideas. Well, I would like to start with a famous quote by Walt Disney on brainstorming what he said that you can design and create and build the most wonderful place in the world, but it takes people to make the dream a reality. This is brainstorming. Does brainstorming ever feel like a total waste of time? You believe it is necessary to get your team's input on a topic, but the session usually turns into a few people bickering and the other participants saying nothing at all. Even if it was a good session with solid ideas, the meeting notes, if there are any, will most likely end up lost in an email chain abyss never to be found again. These are classic examples of brainstorming gone wrong. When venturing into the world of brainstorming, keep a few important things in mind. First, the top priority of brainstorming is quantity over quality. Yes, you read that right. Quantity not quality. Brainstorming is the first step in the exploration phase of a new project. So, it is important to be open to all ideas and possibilities. Problems arise when team members filter out the good ideas from the not so good ones out of a fear of rejection or judgment. Another problem with brainstorming is many people think it can only be done one way. This is also uh, a kind of fear. An open discussion in a meeting room with everyone involved. This method is not necessarily wrong but leads to some largely unrecognized social drawbacks that contribute to an unproductive session. For instance, when the first couple of ideas are shared during a session, there is a tendency to only focus on those ideas throughout the rest of the meeting. The biggest problem with brainstorming is only a few people uh, do 60, 75 percent of the talking. This bias often called anchoring can often prevent other fresh ideas from coming to light. Do not get lazy when you brainstorm, means you have to make your mind very active, keep it both efficient and effective. Let us dive into seven easy brainstorming technique that encourage collaboration while eliminating judgment. Brain writing. The general principle of this technique is to separate idea generation from discussion. This is brain writing. The team leader shares the topic with the team and team members individually write down their ideas. This helps eliminate the anchoring bias and encourages everyone on the team to share their own ideas. It also gives everyone more time to think over their ideas which is especially helpful for your introverted participants. The brainstorming technique works best for teams who seem to be greatly influenced by the first ideas presented during a meeting. 
when your team is brainstorming ideas individually away from distraction and public opinion. You generate concepts that may not naturally surface in a larger setting. Individual brainstorming techniques like this will often give you more unique ideas than when the group comes up with topic ideas together. Ever consider how someone else might handle the situation or what they might say about a particular topic. With figuring a storming you aim to do just that. Think about how someone like your boss, a famous celebrity or even the president of the United States might handle the situation. Putting yourself in new shoes can give the team a different perspective. Helping them see the possibilities from fresh ideas. This technique works best for team who find themselves coming across the same ideas for repetitive projects. Try the simple question. Well, we are discussing you know how to go for good brainstorming session. So, try the simple question what would Abraham Lincoln do? When you brainstorm questions that revolve around the possible actions of a third party, you free up ideas that are not limited to your participants. It is one of those exercises for teams that gives everyone a different viewpoint. Brainstorm. Well, we can talk of online brainstorm also, brain knitting. Virtual teams are becoming more and more common across all industries. The evolution of email and collaboration tools make working remotely the norm in some organizations. But what happens when the team needs to come together to discuss something? Sure, ideas can be tossed back and forth through email, but then it becomes difficult to archive those ideas for future reference. Creating a central location online where team members can collaborate is crucial for those virtual teams. Consider cloud based document, a storage and online collaboration tool. See how backcountry uses a collaboration software to brainstorm productively. There are also a ton of great brainstorming tools that help to make online brainstorming more of a visual and collaborative experience. One brainstorming exercise for groups involves using an online mind mapping tool to answer very specific questions or generate ideas tangential to the main problem. What other ideas surround this concept? Now, try to find out examples. Sometimes time limitations can help to generate ideas quickly because you do not have time to filter or overthink each one. With this technique, the team leader provide context beforehand with information or questions on the topic, budget deadline etc. Then a time limit is set 
for individuals to write down as many thoughts or ideas around the topic as possible using any mediums available. Participants should not worry about filtering their ideas. The great part about this style of brainstorming is that it is completely customizable to meet the needs of the team and project. Several different mediums can be used such as pen and paper, whiteboard, post, it is anything to get the creative juices flowing, the time limit for your rapid ideation session can be anywhere from 5 to 45 minutes depending on the complexity of your topic. This technique is good for teams who tend to get sidetracked, teams who hate meetings or for placing a time limit on brainstorming sessions that frequently last longer than expected. Well, here is a tip you should take very seriously. Management professor Lay Thompson conducted a study on this subject. She found that groups who shared funny or embarrassing stories about themselves came up with 26 percent more ideas in 15 percent more categories than the groups who did not. Means funny ideas, you can make your mind more active. While brainstorming is the basic technique for developing ideas and getting people to think up new concept and solutions, there is a very real temptation to overthink things. It is easy to get bogged down by every new idea and its details. This is precisely the problem that rapid ideation seeks to solve. Round Roman brainstorming that is also a very good method. Teams form a circle to kick off this method. Once the topic is shared, go round the circle one by one and have each person offer an idea until everyone has had a turn. Simultaneously, a facilitator records all ideas so they can be discussed once the sharing is over. It is very important to not evaluate any ideas until everyone has the opportunity to share. This technique is good. When some of your team members have a tendency to stay quiet throughout the meeting. When leading a session, the round robin method of brainstorming allows everyone to pitch in and contribute. Just make sure to treat each idea with equal weight and try to discourage people from saying already mention my idea. If this does happen, say you will return to them at the end, so they have time to think of something new. Popcorn brainstorming. Popcorn brainstorming is a simple tool that can be used during a class discussion. The teacher poses a question and the student respond by speaking out and sharing their answers. Students popcorn out, popcorn out their responses and ideas as it comes to them. Next is snowballing. Snowballing is a brainstorming technique in which 
involves the sharing of ideas through the expanding of group and we are talking of snowballing. A question is posed in which the student independently critically thinks and brainstorms possible solutions and ideas in response. The student then shares and discusses their input with a partner in a group of four and so forth. The group eventually expands. In most cases, after working in fourth, students come together for a plenary session in which their conclusions or solutions are pulled. A step ladder brainstorming. A step ladder brainstorming can be used to introduce a topic. This method can help when studying for test or can be used to assess learning. How does it look like? Start discussing the topic with a small group, then add additional members. Try to keep the group at a manageable size. Groups of 5 to 7 people are most effective when brainstorming. Brainstorming is the name given to a situation when a group of people, this we should keep in mind that we should not confuse with the brainstorming. So, it is the name given to a situation when a group of people meet to generate new ideas around a specific area of interest. Using rules which remove innovations, people are able to think more freely and move into new areas of thought. And so, create numerous new ideas and solutions. The participants shout out ideas as they occur to them and then build on the ideas raised by others. All the ideas are noted down and are not criticized. Only when the brainstorming session is over are the ideas evaluated. This is the traditional way of brainstorming. Well, it is a process for generating new ideas. So, we need to stimulate you know brain and mind with new ideas. Brainstorming is a conference technique by which a group attempts to find a solution for a specific problem by amassing all the ideas spontaneously by its member. To brainstorm is to use a set of a specific rules and techniques which encourages and a spark of new ideas which would never have happened under normal circumstances. What is traditional brainstorming? The normal view of brainstorming is where a group of people sit in a room and shout out ideas as they occur to them. They are told to lose their inhibitions and that no idea will be just so that the people are free to shout out any ideas at all without feeling uncomfortable. People should build on the ideas called out by other participants. The purpose of this is to gain as many ideas as possible for later analysis. Out of the many ideas suggested, there will be some of great value. 
because of the free thinking environment the session will help to promote radical new ideas which break free from normal ways of thinking if we talk of traditional brainstorming we should know the advanced brainstorming also and we have also discussed some of the type of like snowball brainstorming popcorn brainstorming so what is the advanced brainstorming the model we propose is an extension of the traditional brainstorming scenario and makes the whole process easier and more effective advanced brainstorming builds on the current methods of brainstorming to produce more original idea in a more efficient way a specialized technique better processes and better awareness combined with new technologies make traditional brainstorming a less frustrating process most of the problem associated with traditional brainstorming disappear as a more effective process is used keep on reading to generate ideas in your mind and to know more about advanced brainstorming this form of brainstorming focuses on forming questions rather than answer means generating questions one by one a star bursting challenges the team to come up with as many questions as they can about the topic an easy way to begin a session like this would be to start listing questions that deal with the who what where when and how list a question who what where when and why this style assures that all aspects of the project are addressed before any work goes into executing it it is a good technique for teams who tend to overlook certain aspects of a project and end up rushing to get things done last minute thinking up some good brainstorming questions has the added benefit of giving you an instant backlog of ideas for web content in in case if you need a uh, frequent asking question section for your website or product simply answer the generated questions developed in 1992 the session of brainstorming encourages every member in the team to contribute individually before being influenced by everyone the session begins with the facilitator sharing the topic or question with the whole team once the topic is shared everyone leaves the room except two members of the team these two members will then discuss the topic and their ideas this is called a step ladder technique and this was developed in 1992 these two members will then discuss the topic and their ideas then one additional member is added to the group a step ladder technique of brainstorming this new member will contribute his or her ideas before the other to discuss theirs now repeat this cycle until everyone from the original group is in the room this technique 
prevents groupthink in teams where one or two members hold sway over everyone else. This also helps encourage the shy folks in the group to share their ideas without feeling intimidated by a room full of people. The steep ladder technique is actually one of the more mature brainstorming strategies as it incorporates both an individual and a group participation aspect. This technique is useful for medium sized groups of anywhere from 5 to 15 people. Once the group gets larger, however, it takes much longer and may become unwieldy. Now, what are the benefits of a group brainstorming? We should know because most of the brainstorming is a group brainstorming. So, what are the benefits? So, why is brainstorming in a group beneficial? The definition of brainstorming holds the key. It is a way to solve problems by holding a group discussion and collecting information or ideas that are arrived at via unrestrained and spontaneous participation in discussion. It is a useful method especially in the early stages of a product or a company's growth to bring together a wide range of viewpoints. It is a useful method, especially in the early stage product of company's growth to bring together a wide range of viewpoint. Additionally, it is a quick way to generate a large quantity of ideas. Instead of just one or two, a group effort can exponentially increase the number of ideas. Well, we can discuss some of the tips that may help you to becoming a good brainstorm participant. Make the objectives crystal clear from the start. What are you trying to find or to solve? What constraints are you operating under? Just as with other collaborative meeting techniques allow everyone to have a say. Facilitate the session so that the people who are quiet have equal time in the spotlight as those who have the tendency to dominate discussions. Take away the possibilities of anchoring by letting people generate ideas individually first before coming together to discuss and elaborate. Go for quantity over quality at the start. Now, there are four regions that you should brainstorm if you want to become a better writer. But why go through the hassles of using brainstorm technique at all? See, I mean, if you are a writer, even then brainstorming is going to help you. There are generally four regions that people turn to brainstorming while writing. What are these ideas? You need ideas. You have a problem to solve. You are looking to improve creative thinking because writing is creative. You want your team to work together better. 
The first two regions get the lion's share of the attention that is very important and what are the first two you need ideas and you have a problem to solve. But the last two which can lean towards extracurricular exercises are just as important. And what are these two? You are looking to improve creative thinking and you want your team to work together better. If you want to be ready during go time for the first two, you would better take a few practice swings at it using the last two. Whether it is just you or you are a part of team, make brainstorming and creative challenges a regular habit. My dear student, I think that you must have understood the very nature of brainstorming and also how important it is for an organization and also to solve a problem. We have also discussed the types and the characteristics. I think for today it is sufficient. Here I am going to make a pause till the next lecture. So, have a nice day, good time, thank you very much.